Hey, you awesome artists, you. Guess what we're doing today? Well, if you read the title of this video, you'll know that we're drawing 3D shapes. <laughs> today, we're drawing solid 3D shapes. With solid 3D shapes, it means you can't see through them or they're not transparent. As opposed to this glass, if I hold it up to my eye, I can see you. Our goal for today is to draw the basic outlines of 3D shapes. In my next video, you'll learn how to make a 3D shape composition or a still life where we'll draw multiple 3D shapes together in one drawing. So let's get started. The materials you'll need today are paper, a pencil, and an eraser. And of course, you can always add color with the coloring tools of your choice. To make a cone, let's draw a letter V on our page. And now we need to add a curved upside down line connecting these two points together. To draw a pyramid, you'll start with a vertical line. So we're going to draw a diagonal line from the bottom point up and then connect these two points with another diagonal line. And we'll do the same on this side. Diagonal line up, connect this point to this point. Let's draw a cube. We're going to start with the 2D shape of a square. We want to make sure that the sides or the edges of our square are as close to the same length as possible. And then we're going to add a diagonal line going up from the bottom left corner. Top left corner, draw another diagonal line going up. In the top right corner, another diagonal line. And now we're going to connect these two lines. And sometimes you have to adjust the length of the line because we want these two to be connected by a vertical line. And then we want these two points, or vertices, or vertices to be connected by a horizontal line. To draw a cylinder, we're going to start with a 2D shape of an oval. And now we will draw two vertical lines on each side of the oval. And then we'll connect these two points or these two vertices with a curved line, like a smiling line. The reason why this isn't flat is because our cylinder is still round. So anything that is round is going to have a curved line. To draw a rectangular prism, we're going to start with a vertical line. And then we're going to transform our line into an arrow by adding a short diagonal line moving up. And then we're going to do another short diagonal line moving up on the other side. And now we're going to repeat these two lines at the top. So remember, these lines need to be parallel, meaning they need to be running the same direction. Now we're going to connect these two points as best as possible with a vertical line. And another vertical line here. And next we're going to draw a triangle, but without the bottom. So this creates a diamond. We're going to begin by drawing a triangle. And we want our triangle to be equal on all sides. Then we'll draw a diagonal line moving up. Make sure this line is longer than the bottom of this triangle. And then we're going to draw another parallel line traveling in the same direction as the bottom line across the top. So we'll draw 
And sometimes you just might need to connect your lines together. And last but not least, a sphere. To draw a sphere, we'll start with the 2D shape of a circle. And in order to turn our circle into a sphere, we need to add shading and value to turn it into a form. That's what we're gonna learn about in the next video. But since a sphere only has one face or one side, let's go ahead and add some shading to it today so that we can turn it into a three-dimensional form. You're going to start by shading darkly or with heavy pressure on the right side of the sphere and move across to the left side of the sphere, lightening your pressure as you move across. The lighter shaded area of the sphere means that a light source such as sunlight or a flashlight or a room light is hitting that part of the sphere the most. Well artist, I hope you've enjoyed your time with me today drawing 3D shapes. So I encourage you to keep practicing as an artist. Build those artist muscles. Until next time, stay creative. Bye. Really? <laughs>